Hello, welcome to Palm Sunday. Today we mark the entry of Christ into the Holy City and the people who greeted him with great glee and they scattered palms in front of him, which was at the time the way that people showed their appreciation of someone special coming to visit. So today we pray that God will bless us, that he will open us to receive Christ anew, afresh, and to greet him with the same exuberance. Palm Sunday has a special service, and what follows is a simplified version of that, but it gives you the opportunity to read the scripture, to listen to music, uh, to sing along with hymns, and to pray together. So may God bless you as you listen to his word, receive him afresh in your heart, and may he bring you that exuberance and delight that the crowd showed on that first Palm Sunday long ago. Amen.
the collect, true and humble King, hailed by the crowd as Messiah, grant us the faith to know you and love you, that we may be found beside you on the way of the cross, which is the path of glory. Amen. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. As they approached Jerusalem and came to Bethphage on the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, 
Go to the village ahead of you, and at once you will find a donkey tied there, with her colt by her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, say that the Lord needs them, and he will send them right away. This took place to fulfill what was spoken through the prophet. Say to daughter Zion, See, your king comes to you, gentle and riding on a donkey and on a colt, the foal of a donkey. The disciples went and did as Jesus had instructed them. They brought the donkey and the colt and placed their cloaks on them for Jesus to sit on. A very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road, while others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. The crowds that went ahead of him and those that followed shouted, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest heaven. When Jesus entered Jerusalem, the whole city was stirred and asked, Who is this? The crowds answered, This is Jesus, the prophet from Nazareth in Galilee. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. We pray for world leaders, quick to stand in the limelight, taking decisions which affect everyone in the world, but slow at times to do the steady, less glamorous work to which they are called. We pray for world leaders to understand their role to serve the peoples of the world, that posturing will be replaced by practical action to make a difference, and jockeying for position be replaced by genuine efforts to feed the hungry, clothe the naked, and care for those who are weak. In days when food banks are required in our land to feed families who struggle to provide the basics for life, we ask that you will rearrange our priorities and help us to live more like Jesus. We pray to you, Lord, of palm branches and the cross, because you know how quickly life changes to death. Lord Jesus Christ, you taught us to love our neighbour and to care for those in need, as if we were caring for you. In this time of anxiety, give us strength to comfort the fearful, to tend the sick, and to assure the isolated of our love and your love, for your name's sake. Amen. We say the Lord's Prayer together. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, Hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen.
Lord Jesus Christ, you humbled yourself in taking the form of a servant and in obedience died on the cross for our salvation. Give us the mind to follow you and to proclaim you as Lord and King, to the glory of God the Father. Amen.